Hello, hello, hello guys. How are you doing? Are you ready for today's session? How was your day? What can you tell me? Hello? Guys, welcome. It's it's Friday for us. I know it's Thursday, but for us it's Friday because tomorrow no classes. And I really hope you have had a great day. We are going to start today with our session number four, okay? So how was your day? Tell me, how do you feel today? Are you happy? Are you sad? Are you hungry? Are you angry? Are you, I don't know, positive, energetic, sleepy? How do you feel? Anybody who would like to start talking? <laughs> Davy says worried. <laughs> Why is it, Davy? Relax. I mean, we are all going to die, so relax. <laughs> we are all going to die, Davy. Nobody's going to, nobody's going to uh, what? Survive forever. <laughs> So relax, nothing to be worried about, okay? Uh, well, guys, it's my what privilege to be here once again, and we are going to start today's session number four. And I lost every number in my phone. I'm sorry, I can see. And didn't you have, didn't you have like a backup on your phone, maybe on your Google account? No. Okay, that's, that's bad. Sorry. Try to see if you can uh, start collecting again. You know these numbers. Good to read, Gloria Lopez. You're happy. There's always a reason to be happy about, okay? Happy for what? For being alive, for having a family, for, I don't know, being able to listen, being able to watch, you know, many things to be happy for, right? So, well, welcome, guys. Session number four, believe it or not, this is really fast, right? And uh, if you want to share with me on the chat any sentence about how you feel, I will appreciate it. So how you feel? Send me a message. How do you feel today? Being loved, all right? Not that feeling for us anymore, right? Oh, yeah. A little bit tired, says Gilbert. Okay, I can see. Yeah, I imagine, I imagine. Okay, two people want to share with me how you feel and the rest, they prefer not to say anything. So I'm, I'm, I'm assuming you are happy and energetic, okay? If you don't say it, that's the way I think you are. You are, I could not sleep. Well, sorry, I'm not, I can see Gilbert. No problem, yeah, it happens. Life has ups and down. That's it. It's a law. Um, I believe I'm sick. Sorry to hear that. Frankly, try to um, I don't know. Go to the doctor. Um, take a pill. And relax. You know, my I had a a boss when I worked. You know, in these places, call center. She used to tell me, "Think you are not sick. Tell your body you are you are healthy." She used to say to me, because uh, they say that uh, your mind has, you know, power, you know, and if you think you're sick, you are. If you, if you think you are um, what successful, you are. But if you think negatively, maybe you are as well, right? I'm happy because I love uh, to learn English. Nice to hear that, Gloria. I love it. Okay, now... Session number four. Yesterday you had a homework, right? For today, which is, uh, I ask you to write, how do you spend your day? And I want to start with this activity, okay? I don't know if you had the time to do it, if you didn't have the time to write about your day. I want you to please start thinking at this moment. How do I spend my day? How do I start my day? Do I start it? Uh, I, I don't know, maybe thinking God causing a new day. I started 
really positive or when I wake up, I start complaining about life. It's too late. I haven't eaten. What do you guys do? How do you, how do you spend your day? I want you to talk about this. Uh, and then let's see, Anna Maria was, uh, you're feeling sick. I really sorry to hear that. All right, let's see. Let's go over this. How do you spend your day? So I want you to share with me what you wrote. Open your mic. But if you haven't done that, we have three aspects to consider. Number one, describe your daily activities. Number two, think about what, who, where, why, and other, you know, possible question words, and make sure you use adverbs of frequency. Mm -hmm. For example, I usually have dinner or I usually have breakfast at home with my family because I love them. I don't know, I'm just trying to give you an example where I'm using what, who, where, okay? So that's what I want you to do. So, but if you have, if you did it already, I have Susanna, you're sick as well. Wow, I'm sorry guys, I'm sorry to hear about that. Uh, talk to yourself, I am, I am, I am healthy. <laughs> don't say, don't think you're sick. And okay, so who wants to volunteer? Go ahead and, and share with me what you wrote because you were supposed to have something prepared. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, raise your hand. Mm, many, but many hands up. That's really good. 30 people connected. Come on, just, you know, speak. Or if it is too basic, try to uh, maybe uh, challenge yourself, you know, explain. Ana Maria, okay. Carla Merino, thank you so much. Go ahead, Ana and then Carla. Okay, my my daily routine is I wake up at 6, 6 a.m. and then I brush my teeth and, and then I cook the breakfast for my husband and my children too. And after... I take a shower and I clean my house and I practice my English and I listen to music. And sometimes I watch some series or maybe some movie of English. I and like only it. That. I like it, you know. I was picturing, I was imagining, you know, what you were doing. It sounds like an interesting, you know, routine especially because you practice english carla good yeah um nice i know you're gonna speak english really fluently if you keep doing that every day anna maria hi and i i get up i by 30 am i cook the breast back and the lunch uh, of my of my my house and so on for the, the work and school. And I take a shower and my daughter and I eat the rest fast at 8 a.m. My mom is sick and we go to the, pardon, we go her house to help her in our thing she needs. After the lunch, Vicky take a time for to her Homework and I start to clean the house. Mm, I wash the dishes, uh, the clothes, uh, clean the room, etc. And in the end of the day, uh, I'm very tired, but I'm, I'm I am happy housewife, and I hope find a new job soon. And at 9 p.m., I have uh, my English classes and around the 11 o'clock, I go to the bed. Mm -hmm. Interesting. I really hope you find a job pretty soon as well. Did you say you are a teacher, right? Yes, I am. Okay, nice, nice. And for, uh, do you have any specialty? Yes, all children 
kindergarten kindergarten okay i see good yeah hopefully you know let's let's be positive you're going to find the job pretty soon and i'm glad to hear you are a happy a happy um what do you call um housewife you said right okay good let's see i want to hear more participations david go ahead please okay i get up very early i go to the work in the afternoon uh, uh, i am a student in fe alegria santana english advanced basic level uh, also even by in support uh, there was exam a test exposition and interview with the teacher and then I went to to the mail uh, taking advantage of the fact that the pizzas are two for one the pizza hut <laughs> yeah sorry for the commercial <laughs> <laughs> no thank you uh, no also today is my day to wash my clothes at home and i cooking my dinner and i'm ready for it next to the, this class and oh. that's that's it nice okay great thank you so much so you have a schedule for you to wash your clothes like today you have to wash is that like is yeah. that okay um, interesting <laughs> interesting i don't i think i have to follow your you know I don't know the way you do it, I mean, your example, because in my case, I don't have a day for me to wash my clothes. Actually, I sometimes, you know, do it whenever I don't have anything else to wear. <laughs> but then, yeah, thank you so much. I'm, <laughs> I'm glad you are a student, you know, in person classes within software. I'm glad. So if you practice it during the day, you study at night. So that's going to be, you know, a lot of help. And then you're going to achieve your goal of speaking English faster and sooner. Okay, thank you so much for that, Davey. Well, I want to hear Emerson. Emerson, go ahead, please. Well, good morning, okay, good, good, good evening. Well, I'm going to talk about my daily routine. Well, first of all, I wake up at 6 a.m. And after that, I always uh, take a shower and brush my teeth. And then I cook, I usually cook my breakfast because we live with my grandmother and she is 88 years old. I always uh, cook. And after that, I, I do the chores. I swept the floor. The, then I mop the floor, and after that I make the table, and then I, at uh, 9 a.m., I practice my English because it's part of my daily routine. I practice my English sometimes for one hour and sometimes for two or three hours. And then I have my, uh, my lunch. Uh, I always cook my lunch. I like cooking, and then I, uh, I take a nap. I take take a nap from for for two p.m. from two from two p.m. to three p.m. And after that, I always uh, drink a cup of coffee with my grandmother. I like to do that because. I love her. And then I prepare to take in my class. And, and after I had my dinner. And finally, I take my English class from 9 p.m. to uh, 10 p.m. And after that, I go to, go to sleep. That's all. Thank you. Oh, thank you so much. Okay, so your grandma is uh, 88 years old. You say, wow. Yes. I imagine. So you must be her grandson, her superhero and everything. I, based on what I heard, you are in charge of everything at home. 
And yeah, taking a power nap at from two to three, it's good, a good idea. <laughs> Whenever you have the time, because when you when yeah. you when you work, then you might not have the chance to sleep at that time. Like uh, you will have to, you know, work the whole afternoon. But I'm glad you can do it. Okay, thank you so much for sharing. Uh, good, um, let's say plans or good as schedule because you have included that in this practice and that's really good because as I said to the previous one that's going to make you speak even better okay because you're doing a good job uh, Emerson okay yeah, let's you. see let me have a message the phrase que dice cuando dice cuando dice el comienzo solo distingo go which one? I'm sorry, Gloria, which one? Gloria, what is your question? I'm trying to understand your question. Gloria, open your mic, please. There was a message, Gloria. I didn't understand your question. Hello? No puedo entender la frase que dice cuando dice comiencen solo sin go. I think is um I'm going to I am going to talk about I know uh, I'm going to talk about okay I'm going to yeah if it is going to I'm going to talk about yeah it's like um like this is contraction I'm going to talk about voy a hablar sobre I'm gonna talk about going to talk about yeah that's the one um all right thank you for asking thank you for clarifying as well thank you so much appreciate it now um let's see if you already participated and then because i'm going i really want you to practice your english and do it like in small groups is the best because we don't have uh, enough time to listen to one by one, but I do want you to share with your, your peers. So if you already say, if you already said your routine, just be a listener on the group, okay? So I'm going to send you in a small groups and take advantage of the time and please speak, okay? I'm gonna give you five minutes or less and share your routine, share your, the way uh, you spend or you, um, yeah, the activities you do on a day. So here we go, only five minutes or less. Please uh, take advantage and share your ideas. Here we go. Hello, Susanna. Hello, David. You haven't moved to another room. Hello. Susana, can you listen to me? Okay. 
Hello, Ruth. Hello. Ruth. Hello. Later. Hi, good evening. Um, in my case, usually I wake up in the morning at half past four. Hello, 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 Susana. Hello, Ruth. Can you listen to me? Hello. Hello, teacher. Hey, uh, no were you practicing? Yes, pero este me sacó porque el internet me está fallando. ¿Con quiénes estaba? ¿Qué grupo estaba? Olivia, creo. See Susana with Olivia in room four. Okay. Okay, here we go. Dos minutos más lo voy a mandar por ahí, okay? Okay. Ruth, hello, Ruth. Ruth, hello. Right. People are coming back. Thank you so much for returning, guys. I really hope you practiced. Okay, welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back, guys. Let's wait for a little bit more. I really hope you took advantage of the time and you could practice. And I also hope everybody was able to share at least once. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's see if there are some who are coming. Okay, everybody's coming back. Okay. Nice. Okay, so thank you so much, guys, for practicing. Uh, I can see some of some of. Um, okay, everybody's back. Thirty, yes, thirty-one. Good. So thank you so much. I really hope you had at least one chance to to express to to share your ideas with the whole class. I mean, with the group you you had. I don't know if there is one volunteer who would like to share. Um, you know the. The routine or the activities you do on a day. Do we have anybody? Anybody? Or maybe if you want to share about your peers' um, routine or activities, is there any activity that you like your peer does that you don't do? Or maybe you say, "Hey, I like the way he or she does this. I think I'm gonna do it in my in my daily routine." Is there anything that you want to say? No, you don't want us to talk today. Come on. All right, let's see. We're going to move on. Uh, we have now one conversation, okay? And this conversation is the following. I think you might have uh, seen it already on the platform, but we are going to practice it, okay? So let's see, this is the conversation. I need uh, two volunteers. 
one is going to be Jason and the other is going to be Andrea. Anybody? Okay, Franklin, thank you. Franklin, you are going to be Jason and Jacqueline is going to be Andrea. Okay, here we go. So go, please. Okay, where do you work, Andrea? I work at Thomas Cook Travel. Oh, really? What do you do there? I'm a guide. I take people on tours the countries in South America, like Peru. How interesting. Yes, it's a great job. I love it. And what did you do? I'm a student and I have a part-time job too. Oh, where did you work? In a fast food restaurant. Which restaurant? Hamburger Heaven. I like it. The heaven. Imagine like the hamburger in heaven. Like when you are eating your favorite hamburger and then you feel like as if you are in heaven, right? Because it's your favorite one. What is your favorite hamburger, Jacqueline? Is the mushroom in bacon. Nice. There's one there's one uh, that is called, let me see, mm, Junior Melt. Junior Melt, I think it is. Yes, yes. The <laughs> Wendy's. I, yeah, Wendy's one. It's like, yes. that, one, that one is really good. I love it. <laughs> okay, good. Let's see. I need two more volunteers. I want this conversation to be practiced many times, okay? so I practice, teacher. Good, thank you so much. Uh, so that's gonna be, what's your name, sorry? I'm getting here. Gustavo, man. Gustavo and Ana Maria. So, and then we are going to listen to Jancy and somebody else. So Gustavo, you are Jason and Ana Maria, Andrea. Andrea Buccelli, go ahead. Where do you work, Andrea? I work at Thomas Cook Travel. Oh, really? What do you do there? I'm a guy. I take people on tours to countries in South America, like Peru. How interesting. Yes, it's a great job. I love it. And what do you do? I'm a student and I have a part-time job too. Oh, where do you work? I'm a fast food restaurant. Which restaurant? Hamburger Heaven. Heaven. I, there's a song from Brian Adam. I think it is Heaven. I like that one. Okay, Jancy, who, the, who would like to Jancy and who else? Who else? Let's see. I need one more. Uh, and Ruth. Good. I like it. Jancy, you are Jason. And then Ruth is going to be Andrea. Go ahead, please. Okay. Where do you work, Andrea? I work at, at Thomas Cook Travel. Oh, really? What do you do there? I'm a guy. I take a people tours to country in South America, like Peru. How interesting. Yes. It is a great job. I love it. And what do you do? I'm a student and I have a part-time job too. Oh, where do you work? In a fast food restaurant. Which restaurant? Hamburger Heaven. Hamburger Heaven. Good. Thank you so much. All right. So now I'm going to give you five minutes because this is about Jason and this is about Andrea. But I want you to talk about yourself. And I'm not going to say Andrea. I'm going to say Gustavo. I'm going to say Salvador, Ana Maria, Jacqueline. So you're going to make your own conversation. So where do you work? And then where you work, Salvador, and then I work at blah, blah, blah. Maybe you can use some real information, okay? But in addition to that, I want you to please create an opening, like 
maybe a greeting. Hey, nice to see you, Jason. Nice to see you, Gustavo. Nice to see you, Ana Maria. I didn't expect to see you here. Oh, good morning. You you tell me, okay? And at the end, you say goodbye, okay? Make sure you include that part on your conversation, okay? It was nice talking to you. Have a nice day. See you around and blah, blah, blah. So please, I want you to create one conversation. Change the info. You like workplace, uh, profession, occupations, and whatever is necessary to, to change, okay? And for that, listen to what you're gonna do. I'm gonna give you five minutes and then, um, but I'm gonna create pairs. If you don't have a partner in your group, please come back to the main session so I can assign you a different one, okay? In case your partner doesn't speak or doesn't open um, his or her camera, please try to, uh, I don't know, motivate him or her to do it because whenever you have a partner and this person doesn't turn the camera on, that's kind of, you know, strange, that's kind of weird. So please do it, guys. Um, I don't know if you have questions before I send you to the rooms on what we are gonna do. Questions or we do it. I'm gonna give you five minutes, no more. Write down a conversation where you talk about you, about your life, about your work, about your um, maybe likes and dislikes or preferences, okay? So here we go. Let's see, we are, uh, if you are three guys, see how you can talk, how you can make it, uh, uh, let's say a dialogue for three people. Let me see, this is, okay. Okay, here we go, three people. Hello, Carla. Carla. Hello, teacher. I outside of the class because I couldn't hear my partner. Okay, who were you working with? I don't know. I don't. I don't remember. Let me. Is, it's a girl, she has curly hair, hair, color red, I remember. Oh, Jacqueline. Yes. Let me see where Jacqueline is. Okay, let me send you back there. If, if she doesn't um, respond and then please come back here and then we will we'll see. Oh, Jacqueline is here. <laughs> Hello, eh, creo que no me escuchaban, pero me quedé solo con Carmen y no me responde. Okay. okay, I I am here because yes. I, yes. Sorry. Okay, okay practice worry. practice here, girls. Practice here, cause uh, you can stay here and practice. I'm going to go to see the other groups. Okay. Oh, okay. 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 Uh, you can take a. Uh, uh, Hello. Hello. Yes. Um, me escucho. Yes, now, now, yes. Okay. Uh, Albert okay. Segura, you are here? Albert is not here. 
Okay, then, then David and Clara. Hey, Clara, how are you today? Let's try to make up a conversation, okay? And similar to the one we just practiced. Okay. Mm -hmm. Hey, it is okay. good. Or, or, or can David. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay. Hi, David, how are yo, you? I, I am fine. This is this a good day. Hey David, well, um, where do you study English? Hey, hey. Hello. 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 Only you, Gilbert. What about Brian? No, I don't know. He don't speak. <laughs> and no. I try to speak here, uh, speak him. No, no, no. He no, he no answer. <laughs> Wow, man, that's really bad. Come on, Brian. Come on, David. Are you guys here connected? Maybe, maybe it's doing something more important. <laughs> exactly. Maybe watching a movie. <laughs> no, uh, for example, my daughter is coming. Uh, ¿Cómo se dice cada rato? Uh, every moment. Every, 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 like every, in my, my daughter comes every, every moment, every five minutes, every, you, you name it. Ajá, uh, algo, algo así como decir, viene cada rato. Uh, every little while, a little uh, while, un ratito. Every little while, ah, uh, uh, ya. Yeah. Sí, aquí está, está viniendo a cada rato y, y me distrae, entonces, uh -huh. entendería que algo así estará haciendo él, supongo. Ok, ok. Ya lo voy a llamar a todos al main, al main room para que cuenten sus experiencias, ok? Oh, ok, bueno, ok. Bueno, bueno, bueno. I, I, I am taking, take, I am taking care of them, but uh, I want looking for one job. I, I send my, I don't know what to say, curriculum. But it's sometimes in this moment it's complicated to get a job because you need to have someone work in that place you want to work. Yes. And tell me, uh, uh, how old are you? Re repeat, please. How no? Come on. How old are you? How old are you? ¿Cuántos años tienes? Oh, yes, I, I am 23 years old. And you? Oh, really? I am 28 years old. Mm, mm, eh, I think eh, that's all. But, um, but look at your new work. Yes, yes, I, I hope I will get a job. <laughs> but for that reason, I have been practicing my English and I am here in this course because I think it's a great opportunity to learn more because um, two years ago I was starting in, in one academy but uh, for the pandemic I couldn't continue to study but uh, I forgot some words and some time for that reason I need to practice more. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Interesting. Thank you so much. Don't give up. Giving up is not an option, Carla. And thank you for practicing yeah. with Jacqueline. Okay. Good. Okay. Guys, quick um, opinion and comment. Cuando se vayan los grupos, tomen ventaja. Hay muchos que están conectados y sus compañeros, hello, 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 y se hacen como que no están ahí. Eso es don't be mean, no sean malos. Ok, yo fui a observar a un par por ahí, solitos los habían dejado y los demás ahí están conectados. Ok, I know you're busy, creo que están ocupados, que de repente pues este, quizás su esposo, su esposa no los no lo dejan tranquilos, díganle dame chance, voy a estudiar ahorita. Okay? O quizás este, su gato, su gata, su perro, no sé. Entonces hay que hacer el espacio, es un esfuerzo, es un esfuerzo que se está haciendo para que nos dejen su compañero. Y esos tres minutos que se mandan a los grupos, 
tome ventaja, que no le dé miedo a iniciar a usar la plática, ¿sí? Eh, si comience, hable, 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 ese es el punto, ¿ok? Porque por lo menos a tres o cuatro que fui a visitar, estaban callados, o otros decían que estaban solitos. Entonces, please, okay. eso es un, es un paréntesis, ¿ok? Now, uh, we need to go back, thank you if you practice, thank you so much for that. We are going to move on, we're going to continue. Okay, let's see. This is what we just did. And uh, now we have some questions here. Take a look. I need a volunteer to read the questions and I need a volunteer to read the answers, okay? So to uh, Miguel and also and Diana. So Miguel asks, Diana responds, okay? Go ahead, please. Grammar focus, simple present, WH question, and statements. What do you do? I'm a student and I have a part-time job. Where do you work? I work at in a restaurant. Where do you go to school? I go to the University of Texas. Where does Andrea work? She works as Thomas Cook Travel. What does she do? She's a guide. She takes people on tours. How does she like it? She loves it. She loves it. Really good. Good pronunciation. I, okay, I have Salvador is willing to participate. Salvador, do me a favor. Can you read uh, the verse? We have two columns. We have I, you, and then we have he, she. Can you read these verbs, please? Read the two columns right here. Okay. Um, grammar focus. Simple pressing, WH question, and staining. What do you do? Okay, I am a student. I am a student and, and I have a part-time job. Salvador, yes. can you do me a favor? Can you read this part? This part, Salvador? El, the verb and the, and the third person here, please. And then we're gonna have the practice with the questions. Can you oh, do it? Okay. Uh -huh. okay, let me see. Uh -huh. I can see it. Oh, you can? Well, I got it. All right, thank you. Um, work and works. Uh -huh. Take, takes, study, studies, teach, teaches, do, does, go, goes. Have, has. Thank you so much. Really good. Good pronunciation. And this is Salvador in class, third person pronunciation, right? The, the second column works, takes, studies, teaches, does, goes, and has. This is considered third person. And we have rules for third person, right? Do you know the rules, guys, we apply to the verbs in present? Who can tell me one rule in present tense for a third person? Raise your hand, please. Let's see. Who remembers one rule? Ana Maria Hueso. Yes, tell me, Ana, and then Ruth. What are the, ru the rules you know? Mm. We use he and she and it. Um, I with S. Okay, with S. S. We uh -huh. add we we add right, S. With S. Uh -huh. Okay, so we add or we write S. And when do we when do we add? When do we write the letter S? Ruth, what can you tell us? When the verb ends in Y, you have to change 
uh, to drop, drop Y and add I E S. Mm, okay. For example, a study and the third person is studies. Oh, okay, <laughs> Anna. And what about this one? Look. Do we drop the the last one, the Y? In this case, you have to add S. Why? For the user, for the do and that. Because Why? I think it is in between is is uh, the letter, the vowel before before Y. Exactly. You got the answer. Good. Uh, uh, yes. Yes. If... The, this case is vowel A Y. Exactly. And the in the in my example is D Y. Hmm. Interesting. So if it is uh, like this one, let me see if I can write. Look at this. What I'm writing. Uh, if it is uh, this one is fly. Then we say flies. We change this into an I, and that is because we have one consonant. Okay, it's not a vowel like in the, in the previous example. Good. What other examples or rules do you guys know? Can you share with me, please? Examples with third person rules. Anna already participated, Ruth already participated. What about the other ones? What are the other rules that you remember? Can you see the verb list we have here? Guys. Can you see this one? For example, we have we have um, Salvador. Do you want to say anything? Mm. Look at this one. C H O O. What happened here? What happened if a verb ends with C H and O? We have to add uh, e, e S. Exactly. We add E S. We don't add only S, right? We add E S. Okay. And what do you call this verb? The one, the very last one. You see this one? Have and has. Why does it change? Because we don't say we don't say uh have is or haves, we say has. Why is it? Tell me, Ruth. I think it is a irregular bear. Yeah, you're I have right. To, I have to, to, to change all the. I don't. I don't forget conjugation. Conjugation or spelling, conjugation, right? Spelling. Yes. Spelling. Okay. Is there any other irregular bear with the same that we change when we use the, the when we use the third person? Or is the only one that we have? Is the only regular verse that we have? Do we have an, any other irregular verse that changes when we have the third person, guys? Mm -hmm. Is there any other? Or is the only one we have? Have and has. Okay, since I, I can see some of you don't want to participate, but you are here, I'm going to give you this as homework. On Monday, we it's are going to... Has? It's actually has. Yeah, have, has, have, has. My question is, if there are other verbs that we use, um, that they change when we use their person? Irregulars. Let's see, Ruth. It better be. Okay, we um, use for third person is am, um, for third is is, for plural is are, you are, the second. I, I like it, I like it, I like that, that, you know, that opinion. Okay, good. So on Monday, yes. And write, wrote, run, run. 
Mm -hmm. That one, yes, we add the letter S, right? Ra wrong, or do you say ran, runs, right, rights. Exactly, we add the letter S in these scenarios, okay? And so on Monday, I want you to bring, like maybe you want to investigate some other rules when we use the third person, because guys, this grammar focus is on third person and also in present tense. We use do and does, and also we use question words, but in present tense, okay? And we need to move on on this. Uh, let's take a look at the next conversation here. Let me see, let me show it to you and I want you to help me to read it as well. Look, I like this one, uh, Daniel and Helen. So who wants to read? Two volunteers, guys. If you haven't participated, please do it. Two volunteers, come on. Thank you so much, Miguel. Anybody else? Okay, Franklin, go ahead. Miguel, wow, okay. Daniel, and then Franklin, Helen, go ahead. So do you usually come to the gym in the morning? Yeah, I do. Really? What time do you go to work? I work in the afternoon. I start work at five. Wow, that's late. When do you get home at night? Um, I usually get home at midnight. Midnight? That is late. What do you do exactly? Um, I'm a TV announcer. I do the waiter report on um, K and TV. Don't you recognize it? Do you? <laughs> don't you, you recognize me? me? Oh, you are Helen Black. I love your show. By the way, oh, by the way, I am Daniel. All right. Thank you so much. Oh, you are Helen Black. Because you can see the, the, the exclamation mark. Oh, you're Helen Black. I love your show because exclamation marks are there. This, this word pronunciation, this is weather, 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 and this is recognize, 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 recognize. Okay. And the rest went well. Thank you so much. One more participation, please. I want you to participate. Gabriela, thank you. Gilbert, thank you. Go ahead, Gabby, you start. So, do you usually come to the gym in the morning? Yeah, I do. Really? What do you time to go to work? I work in the afternoon. I start work at five. Wow, that's late. When do you get home at night? I usually get home at midnight. Midnight? That is late. What do you do if exactly? I'm a TV announcer. I do the weather report on KNTV. Don't you recognize me? Oh, you're Helen Black. I love your show. By the way, I'm Daniel. Good, thank you so much. I like it. By the way, I'm Daniel. By the way, by the way, by the way. All right. So I need the last volunteers to read it. Please try to involve your emotions, make it sound as, as if you mean it, please. And then. I'm volunteer teacher. Okay, thank you. You and Diana then. Diana, you are Helen. Go ahead. Uh, you initial teacher? Please do it. Yes, you okay. do it, Gustavo, and then Diana is Helen. Go. Okay. So, do you usually come to the gym in the morning? Yeah, I do. Really? What time do you go to work? I work in the afternoon. I start work at five. Wow, that's late. When do you get home at night? I usually get home at midnight. Midnight? That is late. What do you do exactly? I am TV announcer. I do the weather report on KNTV. Don't you record, recognize me? No, you're Helen Black. I love your show. 
by the way I'm done it. Awesome. Thank you so much, guys. We have finished. Look at this word, midnight, 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 like midnight. And then uh, whenever you're reading, guys, this is a very quick tip. Um, try to pay attention where you can link sounds, okay? That makes uh, the speaking more, let's, it's not fast, it's more natural and it sounds fluent. So, because fluency doesn't mean speaking fast. Fluency means speaking naturally when you link sounds. For example, so do you usually come to the gym in the morning? Yeah, I do. Really? What time do you go to work? You can see here, what time do you go to? Go to. I can link these two sounds here because the T sometimes becomes an R when it's in the middle of two vowels. In this case, uh, what time do you go to work? And then that's one tip. Look at this one. This is a K sound and there's a vowel sound. We can link it working. I, I work in, I work in, I work in, I work in the afternoon, the afternoon. I work in the afternoon. So if you can link it, guys, link it. Don't say it fast. Say it naturally. Say it smoothly. Because fluency doesn't mean speaking fast. Because speaking fast, sometimes you, we, we might mispronounce stuff and then it will interfere or affect the meaning. Let's keep going. I want to take this time to explain this. I start word cat. Look at this one, word cat. You can, you can link the K sound with the A. I work at, I work at five. I work at five. So if you can link the K with the A, do it. I start work at five. Wow, that's late. When do you when do you get home? At night. That's okay. I usually get home at night, at midnight. I'm sorry, at midnight in this case. Midnight? That is late. What do you do exactly? Ama. Ama. Look at this one. Ama TV and Ama. Am a. You can link you can link the M with the A. Ama TV announcer. I do the weather report ton. Porton. Look at this one. You can link the T with the O. I do the weather report ton key like KNTV. Don't you recognize me? Uh, you're Helen Black. I love your show, by the way. I'm telling you. So what I just provided you with are really quick tips that you can start implementing when you are reading and when you are speaking. Okay, try to identify those specific scenarios where you can link consonants with vowels. And then once again, don't say it fast, say it naturally, like Goro, work at, working, um, AMA, TV, report on KNTV. So if you apply those tips, you know, when you are speaking English, try to link sounds, consonants and vowels, you'll see that it, like all of a sudden, you'll become a little bit more uh, fluent. Okay, so that's one tip. Um, I don't know if you have questions, guys, uh, anything that you want to ask or you want to add about today's session? Anything? Hmm. Okay, so then try to complete your task for this week and um, investigate the rules for third person. And I'll see you on... Um, Let's see, I have a question here. Uh, Gloria, lo que necesita escuchar es sobre lo que compartía de la, lo de la última explicación. Gloria. Ah, les compartía de que una de las cosas recomendadas por este, para ganar un poquito de, de fluidez es vincular sonidos. Y el más común es vincular el sonido o linkear el sonido de una consonante con una vocal. Siempre que tengamos la, sepamos identificar cuando hay una consonante y lo que viene es una vocal y lo podamos linkear, eso va a ir haciendo que, el, que la fluidez se escuche más natural. Okay, y por eso les decía que si podemos 
empezar a identificar esas veces que podemos vincular sonidos, hagámoslo. Y no tengamos miedo a hacerlo como tal, porque de hecho eso es recomendado por este, lingüistas que dicen que hay que unir sonidos para que se escuche más natural y más rápido y más este, fluido. Entonces, uno de los más, de los tips más comunes es consonante y vocal. Lo los vamos a linkear. Sí, como los ejemplos que les mencioné allí, muy probable que en un texto más complejo, con inglés más, con más avanzado, ustedes van a encontrarse con más sonidos próximos y hay que, hay que aplicarlos. Okay, eso era lo que mencionaba. Les agradezco muchísimo por for your time, for your um, you know, uh, willingness to learn. Try to, I don't know, rest on the weekend and see you on Monday. Okay? Bye bye. Bye bye, guys. Bye. Take care. Bye. Bye. Good, Good night. night. Bye.